Welcome back to Y254 TV. This is Y in the morning. Hashtag past the vibes. And in case you're just getting to join us, Karibu Sana. We have been having quite an interesting segment with Val. Sorry if you missed that, but here we are to do a spot on tech. This week's um, spot on tech, we get to do digital skills in today's workplace. And uh, we have Nelson Oguda to take us through um, that discussion. He is a human resource trendsetter of the year. Karibu Sana Nelson. Thank you very much, Grace. A very and, uh, good morning to you. Good morning and good morning to all of you. Good morning and good morning to It's a bit chilly. <laughs> I, don't think I don't think much and, uh, because I'm in a court. So I'm warm <laughs> enough. Yes. Yeah. So Karibu Sana, thank you for making time to come. Um, we are talking about digital uh, skills in the workplace and especially we are in that season where um, everyone is moving digital and, they, and, they, and this year um, actually the government has been so big on you see moving digital, installing internet in various parts of the countries and the conversation going around is digital space moving you know from the old ways of doing things. We've seen the government move to paperless. You know, there's so many, there's a diverse way of describing digital skills. And I want us to start this conversation from this point. What, what is digital skills? Like, you know, someone might be thinking they, they understand what digital skills mean. So how would you define digital skills? Okay, so it's true that everything is getting digital. And uh, actually, if, uh, if we refer to maybe some 10 years ago, we used to have the chill show and there was these guys who always say that that to metoka talk a digital to me talk analog heading mm -hmm. to digital mm -hmm. and we are still talking about it to date mm -hmm. and we'll continue talking about it as we move forward and uh in digital skills is uh, the abilities and the attributes that we have to that we get to acquire so that we can operate the machines that are there technologically and uh, again, it is, uh, it is not uh, much different when it comes to digital li uh, literacy. We are saying that once you've acquired the skills to use technology, then if you use this technology very well in terms of your workplace, in the workplace, then now we are saying that you are digitally literate because you are able to convert your skills into now uh, in the working place so that you can deliver results, you can work with team members. So then we are saying that now you are digitally literate. Yes, so, so that's the line. Um, why do we need these skills in the workplace, that is? Yes. Uh, now, it is, it is what is happening in that now machines have come in. Mm. Someone has to, has to operate the machines. The transformation has taken place. So we need these skills to adapt into the changing environment. And these skills will help us manage the machines. And that's why we are saying that now. We already have, we didn't, before we didn't have computers, then computers came in. So how will we work with computers in our workplace? Then it mean that we need to acquire the skills that we can actually operate the machine. So as technology, as, as, as transformation come in with innovation, then there's also need to upskill and upgrade. Yes, and that's why we're saying that either way, because human interventions are coming in place, we also need to upskill ourselves as uh, human beings to be able to catch up with the inventions. Yes. Well, there's something we had just uh, touched about as we began the conversation that I'd want to just dive, dive right into so that you get to tell us in depth and mm. expansively. Uh, digital uh, literacy, uh, what we were discussing about digital literacy and um, was it digital literacy and digital skills are uh, the difference? The difference, yes. Yes, the difference between digital skills and digital literacy. Okay. Now, I will, I will, I will, I will want to use an example mm -hmm. on that just to bring it out clearly. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, all of us, we know how to use TikTok. Mm -hmm. And you know that TikTok exists. Mm -hmm. That is digital skill. You know that we are aware that, that, uh, that there is existence of WhatsApp or TikTok. Now, I am in human resource or I am in marketing. Okay. I know that, the, that uh, TikTok exists, uh, exists so I, I, I am in my workplace. How will I bring my human resource activities mm -hmm. or marketing activities into TikTok to ensure that our brand awareness? Mm -hmm. Or how will I attract Gen Z who are in the TikTok, who are in TikTok 24-7, tell them about our company. So 
me being able to convert the knowledge that I have, the ability to use TikTok in my phone, to install, to upload video, to now convert it into brand awareness tool that will help my company grow, will help me as a person build my own brand. Then that we think that now I'm coming from the skill to a literacy. So being able to operate or to manage the machines or the automation to get results is now where we say that we are drawing the line now between the skill and the literacy. So a literate person will, will get results out of it. But the person with digital skills will only know that TikTok exists and I can upload a video there, like, and all that. Yes, so that's how we bring in the, 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 the thin difference between a skill and now the digital literacy that we need oh. to work with, yes. That's, that's quite interesting. We didn't, we didn't, you know, we are out here, we're using these apps and we're doing these things, and we, um, we don't know what, there's actually a difference, because me, I will say, I have a skill, Kumba, I have, li um, y yes, literate. you have a skill, but, but illiterate yeah. on how to use it, yes. Yeah, so, yes. um, how do you feel companies have embraced the literacy part? Uh, I think now companies are even uh, accelerating it faster than, it, uh, than we had thought before. Because uh, you see now, uh, and, and again the literacy bit comes in and that's where we are now actually data becoming a key thing. So when now we combine our digital skills and add in data, then the literacy uh, becomes, uh, comes out automatically. So. In most cases, if we look at, uh, uh, in terms of digital skills, we have got the, the websites that were there previously, which were just, you go there, read something, and then it is there. Mm -hmm. You go and read, someone uploads. But today, what happens is that I can go to Facebook, create a post, delete it. So meaning I also have control of Facebook, of what is posted there. So meaning that companies are also coming in, the companies now do their websites, they're allowing other people to come in, deposit their CVs there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, companies are now uh, becoming open to criticism because now they're saying, okay, now let us go out. So once your company is in LinkedIn, in Facebook, mm. in TikTok, they're coming, they're saying that, okay, let's go out, let's expose ourselves. So being that they are exposing themselves, people get to understand what their companies do and how they can interact with it. And there are people say that, contact us or leave us a comment, chat with us, then now they're doing that. Other ways that uh, we're also having the chatbots where you don't need to, uh, like currently if you, if you make a phone call to any of the service providers, phone, uh, the cell phone providers, they will tell you that for, for this uh, uh, dial one, for this dial two. So until you, you end the process, you are, you, your information, whatever you wanted, has been given to you, meaning you've got a solution, without speaking to any human being. So when that companies are now embracing it in a way that uh, we, we need to feel the human touch within it, but not actually getting to speak to the human beings the, themselves. So companies have, have embraced in various ways, yes, to enable us uh, get the services that, that we require. Don't you think um, the moving to that direction is as much as it's nice it poses a risk to employment not really <laughs> employment is there really like um we've seen a lot of let me speak about the media because i'm in the media but we've seen a lot of massive layoffs of people because of what people of the aspect of people moving to digital spaces. So we've seen a lot of um, media houses or a lot of media spaces um, let go of their employees. Doesn't digital uh, digitalization um, pose a risk to employment? Because assuming that um, something that someone was able to do, now it's being done by, you know, yes. a, a machine or something. What, what do you think? Uh, I think... <coughs> Now, if we go with the media, and you've been seeing this, uh, this photo of, uh, it has been going out, out more of a, a meme, kind of, where we had got a helicopter with a cameraman shooting some video outside. Then on the side, we have the, the drone, yeah, coming in. So people have been saying that, that, the, that the drone actually has replaced the helicopter pilot, the photographer in that, and all those other people. But really, I don't think so. Because if, if you analyze 
what they were doing by then and what the drone is doing, drone doesn't go out by itself, right? Mm -hmm. So drone has someone controlling the drone. So there is still a pilot for the drone on the other side, mm -hmm. seated. There's someone will still edit the video. So video editor mm -hmm. still, is still there, but now using more advanced tools or softwares than there were before. And uh, if you look at the drone itself, it has been done by someone who thought about it. So there is the maker of the drone still in the process, the manufacturer of the drone. There is someone when the drone is destroyed, will still repair it. So what we're saying that if we see layoff, layoff is not about jobs have gone. It's because the skill that is now required, you don't have it. <laughs> so we will remove you, then get someone else to be in. That's why I'm saying that the technology is, is moving ahead. We are getting the skills. We know very well that the drone is coming. But literacy, digital literacy will tell you that the drone is here. Let me learn how to use the drone for the business performance. Then now you acquire the skill on how to use a drone. So that whenever now the camera people will be say, let go, you will be remaining to operate the drone. <laughs> so the, the layoffs in most cases is not about jobs not being there, but jobs getting transformed. Yes, so now we are getting the jobs that are there in a different way. I've been in HR for now seven years, mm -hmm. and I used to do filing on, uh, with the paperwork, opening a, a file, or, or, or opening, a, opening my, the, the cabinets, putting in papers. Mm -hmm. But today, we upload them on the cloud. So if someone doesn't know how to use uh, the new cloud computing in HR, it will be difficult for them to, to do the job. Yes. So is it, um, now that you've brought that up, is it the employer's role to educate the employees, especially if you're moving digital, or is it the employee's role to go out and educate themselves? Yeah, it's a 50-50. <laughs> so who is the employer? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. assuming that yes. we have been doing things this way, to make sure that we, we, we sweep or Let's just say that, that, let me just use the example you've given us of a, a filing. You already used to, you file, you put makaratas in, in the file and you put them in the, uh, in the, in the cabinets. But now here comes uploading into cloud. Now, is it your employer who's supposed to cater for your training to understand how to use the cloud? Or do you as an employee have to take initiative to learn? It's a collective role. Uh -huh. Yeah. How do you? And... Uh, Yes, if if employee initiates a change, then the employee, the, uh, the, there will be need for an employee to be trained. And that's why we always have a learning development uh, part of HR to upskill employees. Now, it will be easier when employee already have the mindset that things have changed and I'm ready for that change. So that even when the employee is coming out to train, to talk about it, you as the employee are already ready, you, you are ready for the change. Mm -hmm. That is uh, when employer now comes to the training or they don't do the training, they just bring the system, then you, you, they, they find you ready. So employers will always try to do their best to train the employees. And even when they're, when they're going to bring in a drone, they will not just bring a drone or just bring a system and don't train you, they'll train you. But now, the literacy of the employee being trained, are you, are you aware of whatever we are happening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So change management, that's where the, uh, the assistance will come in from the employees. I don't want to change because I've been doing filing and I've been doing it very well. Mm -hmm. So why do you bring, why do you want me to start learning a new skill? Mm -hmm. So that uh, again start. And because people fear change, they know very well that now the filing is coming. I, 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 I used to do filing alone mm -hmm. for two hours. Now I'm going to do it for 30 minutes, meaning I might not be needed here. So that fear of losing a job will actually sometimes make people not to want to learn as they should have. So it is advisable and that we as the employees first always be ready. Because employers will try their, their best to train mm -hmm. the employees and they always do. Okay. Yes. So what are some of these digital skills? Okay. So I, I will group them into, into two, general mm -hmm. and job specific. Mm -hmm. So job specific, I'll, I'll, be, I'll do it faster because it's job specific. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are in the media and now 
you are the producer, so you have to know how to set the cameras yeah. on. So the camera is a machine, has got the digital aspect of it. So you are all required to understand how to use a camera. So do you know how to use a camera, even before going for that interview, before getting to that place? I am a HR, there are HR systems that I need to understand how to use them. Do I actually know how to use that HR system? I am, a, I, I, I am a video editor. Do I know how to use CapCut and other things? Yeah? I am a graphic designer. Do I know how to do, how to use Adobe Photoshop and, uh, and, and all other systems? Then now there's now this that we call about now general skill that we need to have. That when you have them, it gives you an added advantage. Number one, the general computer, normal computer. So you have a computer, you don't know whether it's running under Windows 10, Windows 11. Some of us, we ask them, which, uh, what is your current operating system? Huh? They don't know. You ask me, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> so meaning you won't even know where the connector connection is. Where do I connect Wi-Fi from this Windows? Yeah. So where will I find my drive, my documents within this computer? So a normal computer, how do I, how do I set the alarm within the computer if you wanted it to do that? So do you have that skill, a general skill? How do I print from my computer? Do I wait for someone, my IT person to come in to set that for me? I should be knowing how to do it. Then now number two is uh, video conferencing. People are working from home. Most times, last year I worked from home for the whole year. It was very really amazing. Now, do you know how to use Zoom? Do you know how to use uh, Google Meet? Do you know how to use uh, Microsoft Teams? That video conferencing is thing that now we need to understand. How should I position myself? Where is mute in this? How do I share files? Mm -hmm. How do I make sure that my, that, uh, that during the video conferencing, everybody's understanding me, mm -hmm. yeah? Then now we, we also have other skills like now the, the social media has come up. Now, I'm not a marketer, I am a HR, but I need to understand the uh, search engine optimization, mm -hmm. search engine marketing and all that. So that whenever I want to do my advert, I know very well that my advert targets this age group. Mm -hmm. So. When I'm going to have this to the marketing team or anyone who is uh, responsible for our website mm -hmm. to post that job advert, I'll be able to actually internalize that my advert should reach this kind of people at this given time. So I need those kind of skills uh, as, so that uh, easily to get me done through my job. And uh, just to add on, which not be very much, is also on the mm -hmm. graphic design skills. Not not. Not all of us are, are graphic designers, but we need it. Mm. Sometimes even for your own posting, you need to have those skills. Yeah, so that you can do your own good posters and all that. So do, you don't need to be boring. Every now and then you take a photo and you don't even edit. You have it there. So you, need, you don't need to be boring. Yes. So that you need graphic designing skills. Yes. Some of this, actually, it's, it's good you've said, you've shared, because some of these things I also didn't know that they're skills. You know that they become skills that people need to acquire because 2020 actually did a lot. Uh, COVID played a really huge part in uh, propelling people into the digital space. That is into um, Zoom, Google Meet and all that. Now is when I'm understanding as you're sharing that these are actually digital skills that now everyone needs to have. And most people mm -hmm. are rather most companies are ignorant what would you say um is the importance of having these skills now and in the future we are living in future <laughs> even as today <laughs> yeah because uh, if we wait for future then uh, i don't think so so we, we we're already in the future in itself look at what is happening today we are having chat gtp i don't know if you've heard about it what yes. is chat GTP? Yes, and I've, I've heard about <laughs> it around the corridors, but I don't know what just chat yeah, GTP it's a, is. Yeah, it's a machine that thinks like a human being. So sometimes I tell my friends that don't, don't take anything to your boss without passing it through chat GTP. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it will give you an insight because one, one thing that happens with the, that's where now machines are important to our lives. Not that uh, we are dwarf, but because of a machine, it's able to do so many things that than you can do, then uh, they help you a big deal. So like a uh, long time you used to go to the library, I read so many books and then craft something. But now you can just actually go and ask, give, give me a set of books, 
that I can actually uh, go and read to about this topic. So ChatGTP is an AI that is a artificial intelligence tool that is uh, based on data analysis and uh, deep learning, which does, it combines all information that, that is available from 2021 uh, back then. So it's a large language model. So having so many content, so much content. So if you ask a question, it checks all those contents, put it together, and then gives you a summarized result. Mm. So now, it is good that we get to learn these skills today. That's why I'm saying that your job will not, will not go out. Your job will be transformed. And when it's transformed, you should be ready. If you're not ready, you'll be told to go out. Then someone will come in with a different title. Not that, not, not that you're not replaced. You're replaced, but uh, in a good way. You're replaced because you didn't have that skill. So they bring in someone else. Like uh, before, we used to have HR administrators. So administrator was someone who would go do filing and all that. But nowadays, you can be taken out as an administrator. Then they bring in someone and say system, HR system, administrator. <laughs> so they are the same, same person. Mm. But now not dealing with cabinets, but dealing with now uploading. So we need to have this skill today because as things now transform, we're just getting to get to the next step. It is easier for you now if you learn about, uh, about HGP today. If they, if they roll uh, out a new model, you, you, you can easily catch up with it. Yeah? If something else comes in new, you can easily catch up with it. And I find that people, uh, someone say, you, you send a link to someone's SMS, tell you that mm -hmm. I can't see it in SMS, kindly send me on my email so that I can open the computer. But even them, just they can copy it and paste in their email and still have it in, the com in their own computer. So it's good that when you have them, you can actually uh, stop being boring, stop being cumbersome, disturbing others because you can actually think very fast and get to the solutions. So it is good for companies as well as uh, the employees who are working so that when we are using this technology, even the production goes higher with a lower cost, meaning more profits. That's why people in the IT field are paid more than other, other fields. Oh, wow. Yeah, the IT, the salaries are good. Allah, so yes. to have you go. Yeah, we need to go out there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we need to get the skills and be there with them. They're earning good money. So um, where do you think, even with Kenya's plan to go digital, Kenya has um, this plan. Let me just get it. Kenya's digital master plan. Um, where they, there's been a whistle being blown that, you know, we are all moving. Where do you see the trajectory of Kenya's uh, digital space in the future? Okay. In East Africa, we are ahead. <laughs> and, uh, and in Africa, I think, after Nigeria and South Africa, we are just within the space. So in Kenya, I would say that most of us, we have the digital skills. Mm. Because today, I don't even read my normal SMSs unless I want to check where someone mm -hmm. sent me an M-Pesa. Because mm -hmm. we are on the other yeah. side, we are WhatsApp. I want, to get, I want to get quick news, I go to Twitter. I want to get professional news, I go to LinkedIn. And I'll find millions of people there, right? So we're already there. What, what now is happening that we are now looking into how do we make money out of it, the digital literacy that is coming in. And that's where, again, we are. I find ourselves all going there. Uh, into transforming our skills into the, into now being able to produce, uh, bring in the production aspect. So like uh, that's what the government is also trying to do is that the idea that uh, you can actually use digital skills to, to ensure that government services are, are, uh, are easily accessible to anyone, to everyone. So. In Kenya, I believe we are almost there. And this plan that we're having in the government, I think once everybody is given access to internet, and phones have also been given out, uh, almost nowadays if you look at any other, we have the basic smartphone. What will be challenge for us is now the internet, the, we, 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 the government is rolling out. So once the internet is, is rolled, and then we are taught about some of these few skills, mm -hmm. then uh, I believe we are, are at a better place. Yes, as a, as a country and its citizens, uh, because, we, because we also have in schools, we are also now having a computer being taught to people in primary. I touched mm -hmm. a computer in, in high school, but then it was left for people who came from Nairobi and Kisumu because we are in a village school. So then we could not touch it. Yeah? 
and you could not select it as as a uh, as a subject because we feared it it was supposed mm -hmm. to be for guys who have been using it from the word go mm -hmm. so us coming to know about it was later but now people are coming behind us already started learning that aspect yes mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it will accelerate the 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 digital literacy that so do you having. think um kenya's plan to keep to install a wi-fi all over the country accessible wi-fi all over the country will move us to that to that space where we are getting successful or we are doing uh, what needs to be done or we are using the rather we're using the internet for the right purposes because of course that internet in as much as uh, it's it's going to be accessible to everyone uh, as per the government's plan so do you think we are doing more harm than good or we are actually getting somewhere in terms of developing the country the harm side is always there is uh, how harmful do you want to be because even without internet we are still harmful <laughs> to people mm -hmm. so and uh, to look into the 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 harmful part of it is that we already have an, an uh, a law on cyber crime which is still trying to regulate the same thing then number two internet we share data it's based on data mm -hmm. so whatever i have on myself what I, I can get information if i wanted to and all that so we also have the Data Protection Act, which was uh, which came into effect on in May or not, not May but March last year or March or May last year. So you see now those are these are things that I would say that already measures have already been put in place that we are able to contain the use of internet and the use of data that we that we generate out of it. But the other side, in terms of how good it is, it is very nice having internet to help you to do your thing because there's so many things that currently are everywhere. Now what we, what I find that we need to do is the, get the also, as much as we are giving out internet and all that and we are giving smartphones at uh, cheap alone and all that, is the next thing is that we need to look into now, the adaptability skills. Mm -hmm. is, now, is, is now what we need between a digital skill that you already know that WhatsApp is there, I can use TikTok, I can use mm -hmm. Facebook. Adaptability skills come in that you're able to learn how to use the skill to be literate. So that that bit in there is what now we need to look into and uh, be sure that now we know that we have Facebook. So I thought apart from us being told that Facebook is not bad, what are the benefits of Facebook? Mm. Are we ready now to be told these are this is how you can make money on Facebook? Nobody tells us those. Is some other guy that tells us how to make money on Facebook who has never made money out of it. So now if you have a good platform where now we can teach the ability skills on what are the benefits of the digital skills that you already have. You already know that there is this. So are you using it in the best way? So that part of now learning on the beneficial aspects only, because don't, people will always know the don'ts, the harmful side. But the benefit side is always hidden. That is the trick that also the rich guys use against. <laughs> because if you know how to be rich, then not everybody will never require you. So if you are open enough to train ourselves on how to use the skills properly, and then bring the ability skill, meaning that you are ready to learn. So you've seen that today we are having, a, you just heard that something is coming up. Like now we're seeing that digital cars are coming up, and they are there in, uh, uh, by Tesla, they are there. But in Kenya, we still don't have courses doing that. Mm -hmm. So meaning when the digital cars come in Kenya, you, we are not ready for it, we work yeah. with generators. So now, how fast are we also adapting to changes worldwide? And being a global village today, we need to be at par with every other person. Yes. So um, let me personalize this a bit and talk about you. Yes. Um, your title. Yes. Uh, <laughs> your title. I, I, I'm, really cur I'm really curious to know uh, um, the story behind the title. The HR what trend you do, that is um, what I do. digital um, human resource translator of the year. Okay. You want to tell us a bit <laughs> about that? Okay. Uh, now, the title I'm working with is, uh, is a recognition as the HR, the HR trendsetter of the year. Mm -hmm. So last mm -hmm. year, I was awarded by IHRM mm -hmm. as the HR trendsetter. So when COVID came in, I'd had a skill that I was a bit hiding. So when in 2020, in 2020, I already planned to be someone else in my life, meaning to come up and 
speak about what I, what I know, what I believed could change the HR space. That was HR analytics, using data to transform how we look at things. We don't want just to look at you as Grace mm -hmm. working here. So Grace has got emotions. How will emotions affect her performance? How are this? How is her performance affecting her supervisor? How, how will this? Everything that's around you that can collect data about it, about you. How do we use it to make you function well in a workplace? Mm -hmm. So I came out trained, and then in the midst of it, I realized that then for you to do analysis, then you cannot do it in a vacuum. You need also a system to bring come in. So I've also been holding HR Tech Talks, where we train as HR. We discuss about uh, the technology that has come in and how is it helping us to do our work better. So like today, I'll be, I'll be hosting HR Tech Talk in the evening at 8. It's always from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Zoom, where we come together as HRs and learn the skills of how do we use uh, technology to, uh, to transform our HR practice. So, that's how the HR trend setter came in, but uh, uh, where I work, I have held positions of human resource business partner, which is now, how, how is HR becoming a business partner, not just to do paperwork and uh, do employees here and there, but how are we also seeing the, the objectives of the company in five years' time? So <clears throat> if I were to plan now for, for Grace in a company, mm -hmm. I'd want to look at Grace in five years' time. Mm -hmm. That's where the question that you had, that you had asked earlier is that do employers also participate in training employees on the new skill? So as a HRBP, I should be able to say, okay, we want to achieve that in five years' time. So what do we need to do to grace today, tomorrow, and in two years so that we can achieve our dream? Mm -hmm. So if it's about letting you go, then we'll say that, okay, in five years, she will be redundant. Her skill will not be needed. So I should now start this talking to you, telling you that now, Grace, you need these skills to be able to be with us in the next five years. Because mm -hmm. without that, then you won't be here. Yeah. yeah, so that's how the title came about, HR Transit of the Year, a title that I'm holding. And uh, I think by being here is also just one aspect to show that I'm leaving the, the title yeah, of HR yeah, Transit. Yes, true, yeah. True. Thanks. Um, as we <coughs> approach towards the end of this conversation, I want you to share any other thing you feel like is necessary to share about digital space. <laughs> yeah, okay. Digital space is transforming everything. And uh, we are, uh, the other day, I think, I didn't have a phone for two days. It was, it, it was also a good time to also understand <laughs> who are those who are, that, that were looking for me. Because I, when I got a new phone after two days, I could see those who sent SMSs mm -hmm. who were asking whether I'm okay because it's, no, it's not mm -hmm. always that I'll be off yeah. online. So just to know who are those that care over the weekend, where I am. And also it was a, a best way of just, just uh, rethinking, do I really need a phone mm -hmm. to leave? But then amazingly, you find that so many things are interconnected. We talk about internet of things, mm -hmm. where everything is in one place. Okay, I could still access my phone on the laptop, but still need it. So, the skill that we are having, the, the machine that we are having around us, mm -hmm. are forming part of our lives, and we need to embrace it. So, the same way I'll, uh, I'll embrace my friend who is closer to me, mm -hmm. the same way I can actually embrace someone who is far away from me because mm -hmm. of the digital skills. Yeah, yeah because uh, now, being that we have got, uh, <coughs> telling someone that now, uh, when, when it comes to networking, Currently, I can decide today that I want to talk to the CEO mm -hmm. of uh, KBC or Y254. I know if I go to the reception, I will be asked whether I had an appointment. Mm -hmm. But I can just decide to go and search for that person, for, for the CEO in the LinkedIn, if he's there, and I drop a SMS. And he will answer, or someone will answer. So it's, it's, a, it's opening up everything. So we need mm -hmm. to embrace it. Uh, so once you've gotten the skill, able to know what is happening where, you need to have the skill then how does it bring me money? Yeah. How do we bring, how do we make change with it? And that's why people are winning awards on how to use digital uh, skills that they already learned to bring change in the environment, to bring change at workplace, to bring change even in their families, bring change in the healthcare mm -hmm. and all that. So, and I've also developed an application for our HRs to be using. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, to calculate their metrics. When we do our reports, nowadays we do numbers in our reports. So mm -hmm. I believe when your HR here does numbers, you know, we don't just talk about stories now. We also quantify our HR. We can quantify you today. Mm -hmm. And now say that in five years you might live or you might not live. You can be poached. We can say that 5% you're going to be poached. 2% uh, you look for a job. 99% will retain you because you cannot go anywhere. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we are doing that and we have an app called HR Matrix Analytics app in the Play Store mm -hmm. for the Android users. So and uh, yeah, we are embracing technology and government is doing it. So meaning everybody should be at par. Yes. Wow. That's quite a lot. I, I feel like I'm in class. Feel, I've, I've, actually, <laughs> I've actually learned quite a lot. Thank you, Thank you so much. I didn't know, didn't know digital literacy. They didn't know chat GTP, chat that one. Chat GTP. And there yeah. are so many. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't, there are so many things I have yeah. learned. Thank you so much for uh, the insight. Now, I want you to give us your parting shot because I, I understand that time is not on our side. Yeah, so <laughs> now I have seen transformation in my career because of embracing digital skills that I, that I, that I have. I'm always curious to know the, to just understand what is the new thing. And uh, if I've been given a chance, I could be doing all careers. <laughs> yeah, because with the digital skills, you get to learn so many things. You get to understand so many things within a very short time. So I would say that for all of us, at whichever level that you are in, we need the skill. And once we've gotten the skill, we need, we need the adapt adaptability aspect so that we can translate it now into, uh, into literacy for now the benefits of the workplace and even for ourselves. Yes, so knowing that LinkedIn is available and not using it for jobs such as personal branding is lack of adaptability. The, the need to learn the new thing, need to go at the next step. So we know whatever is there. All of us know that this thing is there. It has been mentioned, but need to be very curious. With technology, you need to be curious to, uh, to embrace it. So we all need to embrace digital skills. And uh, as we are living, we are living the future and things are transforming. So learn the new skill. Use it in your workplace to change the workplace. Use it in yourself to change who you are. And then we'll be ahead. Thank you. Thank you. That was quite, that was quite comprehensive. Who, I'm still trying to internalize and think about it. Thank you for making time. Thank you for coming. It means a lot and for sharing your insights on digital skills in the workplace. That was the discussion we were having this morning. That is digital skills in the workplace. Oh my God, I have learned quite a lot, and I hope so have you. That was Nelson Okuda, uh, the dig, um, human resource translator of the year but don't touch that dial while he's coming back with more